some tips and tricks using Inventor on your iPad. When Inventor first opens up, you have a screen like this, but you don't have a mouse connected to your iPad the same way that we did having a mouse connected to a computer. So to interact with this a little bit better, at the top, there's this little pull down shade up here at the top in the middle of your screen. And a lot of times, the mouse looks like it would be a good idea in order to travel around, and it is. However, it is a little bit cumbersome since it's such a big icon that's in there. I'll come back to the mouse in a little bit because we do use it for a couple of things. For example, when we need to right click, or you can also click click in the middle of it in order to zoom. However, just regular drawing, I like to use my pointer tool. And that pointer tool comes around and asks just like the cursor on your screen and your finger on your screen acts as the mouse. So I can take and I can touch a 2D start sketch. I can go onto my XY plane and I can seamlessly and easily move over to my world view cube and click front to zoom all. That all works pretty nice. But how do I enter in numbers for when we need to type and enter in numbers for dimensions? When you come up to the top, there's a keyboard button that's up here and that'll open the keyboard that's on your screen. The top part of this where you see the tab, the escape, the control, the delete, the copy, the paste. Those are kind of nice to have handy up. There's also a little scrolling pad here. So in order to do that, if you come over to the right hand side, there's this little pin button. And if you press the pin button, it turns blue. And even though you make your keyboard go away, this area stays open on your screen. It's kind of handy to have up. I'd suggest doing that. Now, Let's start taking a look at some of these drawings. We're gonna start with a rectangle. We come to our origin, click hold down and stretch out a rectangle. Now we need to enter numbers. In order to do that, you can go up to the top and you can press your keyboard button in order to expand it. I like using, instead of the swipe down on the letter I in order to get the eight, I like changing over to the numbers to get eight. And then I have tab on the bottom black bar. I can press the tab key to go over to the next box. However, if I don't wanna keep going up to the top to get my keyboard, I can come down. I can come down to this area in the bottom left-hand side. And that brings my keyboard up. The only thing I need to do though, is I need to bring it back over to that other button in order to make it go and then I'm gonna switch over to my numbers and then type the number four in. It also doesn't have a return key on it, so every time you wanna press return, you have to open up the keyboard again. That's not too bad. However, I'm done drawing with my rectangle tool, I can press the escape key on that black bar that's on the bottom and I can come over and finish sketch. And of course, go home to zoom all. Another couple things that are kinda of handy while drawing with Inventor is down here in the bottom, I have a couple other things that are opened up. When you come over, this is my last man standing game. When I come over and I need to do any editing stuff, like for example, when I need to establish the heights, when I wanna select and change something like this, I change to model top. When I click in there, it opens up and it expands it larger so that your finger doesn't move around the cursor anymore. You actually have to take and choose with your finger what you want and you can change it to top height or model top, okay? Another thing that's interesting on Inventor is, I'll open this sheet up. is when I have a sheet drawing open and I wanna take and I need to edit something in here. For example, in order to change the sheet size, we go to sheet one. However, when I click on sheet one, it doesn't work because I need to use my right click. So that's one place where I have to take and change over to my mouse, bring my cursor over here to sheet one, right click, and then go down to edit sheet to select it. 
And now I can come up here and I can change my sheet size from D to B. That's pretty handy as well. But normal everyday drawing, I don't like coming around with this mouse here. I like using the pointer tool instead. Once again, with your keyboard open and that black bar pinned at the top, we also end up with my pointer tool open. I can come in and I can use these arrow keypads in order to arrow around on my drawing if I needed to. I can also pinch to zoom in. However, it just zooms the whole screen. It doesn't zoom in a regular area. And that works pretty well. Then you could use your pointer tool to come over here to the side, zoom all, and that'll bring you back. So once again, I took and I used my fingers. Now that zoomed the whole entire screen. That's not exactly what I wanted. But there I can take and get in the right spot and I can zoom just in my middle screen, just like it was on the computer when I used a mouse to zoom with the wheel. And then, of course, I can use the arrow tabs that are down here in order to move over and be more precise if I wanted to take and do that. Those are a few tips and tricks making this process a little bit easier for you. Get my pointer tool back, come back over here, zoom on, see my whole sheet again. Hopefully these tools you'll find helpful, and good luck with your inventor drawings.